Hey folks, welcome to another Uncult Vlog episode where we continue to explore the contribution of the Ramsey family to Bollywood horror cinema. Today we'll be looking at Bandarwaza or the Forbidden Doorway. Bandarwaza may not be the last film in Mondo Macabro's upcoming Bollywood horror box set, but it does represent the end of the classic cycle of Ramsey monster movies that began with 1984's Purana Mandir. In some ways, this end mirrors the beginning. In both films, the featured monster is portrayed by the Ramsey's most famous horror star Anirudh Agarwal, while in Purana Mandir, Agarwal was the devil worshipper Samri who is resurrected as a vengeful ghoul. Bandarwaza has him playing Nevla, a vampire who is also master of a satanic cult and returns from the grave for his revenge. Nevla's vampiric nature is emphasized in the introduction where he emerges after sundown from his lair to stalk the countryside for prey. His all-black costume with flowing cape, red lenses and fangs owes a great deal to Christopher Lee's ensemble in Hammer's Dracula movies. Nevla's den is the familiar dungeon set from previous Ramsey films, this time housing a striking bat statue. Interestingly, the name Nevla translates as mongoose, a creature famous for its animosity towards cobras. The mongoose is not usually given negative or evil connotations, so it is unusual for a horror feature's main villain to be named after it. As I said, Nevla is also a cult leader. He has a bunch of acolytes ready to perform any evil deed in his service. When the local big shot's childless wife visits him in her desperation to be a mother, Nevla obliges her and the film makes no pretense about how he does this. But with the condition that any girl child must be handed back as his property, possibly to replenish the quota of female ritual dancers in a shrine. Expectedly, the wife gives birth to a girl and tries to welch on the deal. That turns out a fatally bad idea. A furious Nevla has her killed and the baby kidnapped. In turn, her husband drives a dagger through Nevla's heart, putting him in cold storage for a while. In the next segment of the movie, the girl child rescued from Nevla's clutches grows up to be the sexy but spoiled Kamya. Kamya has the hots for her childhood friend Kumar. When she finds him unreceptive to her charms, she determines to bag him, even if she must sell her soul to the devil in the bargain. You can see where this is heading on. Kamya is played by actress Konika, who had previously worked in a couple of horror projects with the Ramsey's rival Mohan Bhakri. Although she was frequently seen in cameos and supporting roles, Bandarwaza is one of the few features where Konika has a leading part and she makes the most of it. She doesn't match up to the stupendous sex appeal of Virana star Jasmine, but she does convey Kamya's animal hunger for Kumar and a willingness to cross all lines to possess him. In this sense, Bandarwaza is probably a little closer to the Ramsey's earliest horror films where characters invited doom upon themselves by their own actions instead of simply falling prey to an external evil. Through a convoluted set of circumstances, Kamya's desire takes her down the forbidden path and like her mother before, she too comes under the sway of Nevla's cult. There's a standout scene in which a resurrected Nevla covered in slimy primordial goo rises from the coffin and slowly approaches her. Given the story behind Kamya's birth, Nevla is a biological father. At the same time, she is involved in his rebirth and in satisfying his immediate hunger. I doubt the Ramsey is factored in all these ramifications while doing the scene, but it creates a strange incestuous vibe. Unfortunately, Bandarwaza is not without its flaws. When Nevla is not on screen, the energy of the film noticeably dips, with several slip-ups in continuity and tone. The lead romantic pair whose survival we are meant to root for are too bland to care about. For some reason, the trademark rousing Ramsey musical theme is only used once and in a minor key although they do recycle other tunes from their previous pictures. But all this notwithstanding, Bandarwaza is one of the top offerings from the Ramses in this period. Every scene with Anirudh Agarwal's Nevla is worth savouring for his towering, terrifying presence. Even simply looking in through a stained glass transom window captured lovingly by Gangu Ramses' camera, he can send shivers down your spine. This was the last major feature film that Agarwal did with the Ramses and I'm happy to report that he bows out with a killer turn. Next up, I hope to tackle the last title from this much-awaited box set, Deepak Ramsey's Atma, which in many ways represents a shift from the other films included here. 
Till then, farewell and take care.